But if you're looking for some reviews on some more understated bags, if you're intimidated by really heavy branding, this video is for you. Hello my friends, today we'll be tackling a topic that I have been promising you for month and month that I would do a video on, which is the best Hermes bags for men. Now I personally never worry about labels, I buy whatever pieces I find suit my taste, my aesthetic and my frame. And I would genuinely recommend for you to do the same, buy pieces regardless of the label that make you feel empowered, beautiful and most importantly happy, because at the end of the day, who cares who the pieces were designed for? So today, rather than looking at pieces directly from the Hermes Mans collection, I'll be sharing with you some pieces from my collection that I find would work incredibly well, yes for men, but also for women and everyone out there. They are beautiful, understated, functionality first bags, so if you'd like to hear my recommendations, then please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. Again, whatever bag you have on your mind, be it a Birkin, a Kelly or a Constance, that you love the look of, you should go for. I personally have probably more bags, no, I'm pretty sure that I do, from the women's line than from the men's line. But if you're looking for some reviews on some more understated bags, if you're intimidated by really heavy branding, this video is for you because these are all quite multifaceted functionality first bags that really don't scream and shout the brand name but will get you a lot of bag for your buck. I have pieces from all different price ranges and all different categories so we have a lot to discuss but I want to start with this first piece and just kind of whisk through it because this is one that I unboxed quite recently but what inspired me to reacquire this piece and add it back into my collection was this video specifically, which is the so-called Neobane pouch. If you watched my most recent Hermes unboxing, you'll remember me unboxing this piece. And the reason I picked this bag up again after losing it a few years ago is because I wanted to test it to see if it is truly as great as I remember it being. And I have to tell you, I've been using it almost every day since I unboxed it, and it really is. I love it today as much as I did when I first bought it. But just in case you didn't see my original unboxing, let me quickly run you through the details of this piece. So this is the so-called Neobane pouch bag, and as the name suggests, this is actually from the Hermes Beach collection rather than from their core line which makes this bag incredibly fun, fuss-free, easy to use. It's made of this really interesting, thick, heavy-duty, water-repellent neoprene fabric, which in case you've never felt neoprene fabric before, the closest thing that I could compare it to or the benchmark that I could give you is sort of a scuba diving suit. If you've ever felt one of those, that is the closest thing that I could compare it to, which gives this bag a really interesting laid back casual feel that you really don't have to worry about because it is water repellent. If you get anything on this bag, you can easily wipe it off. You don't have to worry about scratches and marks. So I think this is the kind of piece that anyone could benefit from having in their collections. Not to mention that there is so much that you can do with this. As I mentioned in my original unboxing, you can use this as a clutch bag on its own. You can use this inside of other bags as a bag organizer, as a cosmetic pouch, as a catch-all. But if you're one of those people who carries a large tote bag to work, but you also like to have a smaller bag with you, this is the kind of thing that you can have inside of your larger tote bag and you can pull this out if you want to go out for lunch or if you end up going out for dinner. This is something that you can take with you. You don't have to carry your entire tote bag with everything in there but the kitchen sink. This does it all for a really reasonable price. And it comes in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. I would say that the small is probably best being used as a cosmetics pouch, as a toiletry bag, as a little catch-all inside of your bags, but then the medium and large would stand perfectly on their own as standalone bags 
Obviously, it all comes down to your preference and the proportions of the bag that you're going for. But all three of them are amazing pieces to have in your portfolio. But if I could only pick one, as I did here, I would go for the large size because this is the most incredible MacBook case too. So if you're looking for a luxurious tech accessory, but you don't want to go for the likes of Louis Vuitton, this is an amazing piece to add to your collection that is not going to break the bank. Now, if you love the idea of a flat pouch, but you want something that is a little bit more Hermes-like than the Neopane pouch, which even though it does feature the Hermes logo in a really subtle fashion, because it's not made of leather, it perhaps won't give you as good of an understanding for what Hermes is all about as a full-on leather bag would, then I would highly recommend that you check out the Atout pouch bag, which is one that I discussed extensively in a previous video of mine, or another bag that I absolutely love, I have to say, and it was one of my first Hermes bags, is the Bazaar pouch. That is a piece that goes in and out of stock. Some seasons they have a ton of them, some seasons they are impossible to find. And now I'm kicking myself for selling it. I sold it many years ago, just after I bought my GJ, because I felt that I didn't need two pouch bags that kind of did the same thing. They were not the same thing, but I felt that every time I reached for my GJ, those were the same times that if I hadn't had the GJ, I would have reached for my, my Bazaar pouch. So I ended up selling it because I didn't want to have too much in excess. And I so wish I hadn't sold it because now I would love to have that bag in my collection, especially with these pouch bags making a comeback. I'm seeing more and more of these launching because they are the perfect balance of a bag and the small leather good. They are just in between and they get you the best of both worlds, usually for really reasonable prices. So I wish I still had it in my collection, especially because it was engraved with my initials. So if by some miracle, someone out there is watching it who bought that bag, I hope you're taking care of my baby because I spent some really good years with that bag. I absolutely loved it. So the Bazaar pouch is another great one to look for. If I could critique one thing, one thing that I think is worth knowing if you're going to go for that bag is that it's extremely flat and there is really no dimension to the bag. So there is no way that you can put something really chunky in there. So if you have really heavy keys, like a big set of keys, or if you carry, I don't know, some sharp objects like the Kelly pocket, those are not things that you will really be able to carry in your bizarre pouch because it's so flat. But if you're going to use it for documents, card holders, iPads, things like that, just regular things, it's going to be perfect. But I just wanna put it out there that there are certain things that because the bag doesn't really have a structured shape to it, it won't really be able to hold, or it's not that it won't be able to hold it, but you'll see the outline of the piece on the outside of the bag. And if you keep carrying some more chunky objects in there, at one point you might start seeing the imprint on the outside of the leather. So that would be just my critique, but it's really a minor thing. But it's worth knowing if you're going to spend about a thousand dollars. This next bag, you won't be surprised to hear me talk about if you've been with me for a while, because I'm a huge fan and advocate of this rather underestimated Hermes bag, which is the Her bag, which I have here in size 39. This is a bag that's similar to the Neobane pouch, comes in quite a few different sizes. So this is size 39, which is quite a large bag. I mean, this packs a punch when it comes to things fitting in here. There's barely anything that you couldn't fit in this bag. I used it when I worked in an office on a daily basis. I had a computer in here. I had my gym clothes here on a regular basis. I had a large wallet and I never once struggled to fit things in here. And I could even see people using this as an overnight bag if you're going on a quick trip. This is just the perfect bag to travel with. It's not overwhelming by any means, but it could also work as a more daily bag if you're looking for a bag that's in a larger size. So this is 39 centimeters. It also comes in size 31, which I have to say I love too. It does work with my proportions and my frame. 
The reason I no longer have size 31 in my collection is because the 31 size doesn't actually fit a 13 inch MacBook inside. Actually, you can put the MacBook inside, but you will not be able to close your bag. So if that's not something that you worry about because you drive everywhere, the 31 might also work for you. But for me, that just wasn't an option having my MacBook hanging out of the bag. But other than that, if it fit a computer, it would have been the perfect size too. Either one of these sizes would work. It just really depends on the proportions that you're going for with this bag purchase. And it also comes these days in larger duffel bag sizes, which are actually not brand new to the Herbag family. They made them back in the day too, but they were discontinued for a while. But if you're looking for a larger true duffel bag, they are bag. There are two different shapes that are both in a size 50, meaning that they measure 50 centimeters at the base. They are just slightly different proportions, so it just depends on which one you prefer, but that is also an option. And I absolutely adore this bag. A lot of people compare this to the Kelly, which I have done a super in-depth review on. I did a comparison between this and the Kelly bag side by side to see how they are different and how they are similar. To find out if you need both of these bags or if owning one of them is like owning them both. So I'll make sure to have that video linked up here and also down below for you in case you're interested. But I think this bag is so much more than just a more affordable version of the Kelly bag. I absolutely adore this bag. It's such an amazing, understated, easy to use, casual and multifaceted bag that will never look out of place. Not to mention that because the body of the bag is made of canvas, you don't really have to worry about this as much as you'd have to worry about a full-on leather bag. I mentioned this before in a video that I've had a bubble tea basically explode in this bag and the entire thing was covered in milk tea. And you know what I did? I took this bag apart because you can completely take it apart. You can remove the strap, the handle, the top flap, which is made of leather. And you, all you're left with is this base of the bag. And I had it dry cleaned and now you couldn't tell that anything had ever happened to this bag. So it's just an easy great bag to have in your collection, whether you're looking for a bag for work, an everyday bag, even a baby bag, this would be an amazing piece to have in your collection. And again, you have plenty of options when it comes to size and also colorways. And the only two things that I would kind of want to address when it comes to this bag that could be a downside that I have an easy fix for is one, the shape of the bag, which as I mentioned is quite slouchy, even if you go for the original Cellier version, which you can really easily fix by putting an insert in here. I usually use my 7RP insert that I use in my Birkin 35s that fits perfectly. There is just a tiny bit of a gap on one of the sides that I actually use to store an umbrella in there. So it's just a match made in heaven. And then the other thing that a lot of people complain about, which I have to give them that they're completely right, is that this bag is not the easiest thing to go in and out of, which can also be seen as an advantage in case you want a bag that is super secure because you have all these different sangles hanging. Then you have the top flap, which is made of leather. You have the clue to sell hardware in the middle. And then there's also another ring on here that you have to pull out, which is not the easiest thing to do because there is a tiny little hook on the bottom of the hardware, which I don't think you will be able to see that actually holds on to the metal ring of the body of the bag. But what I usually do to avoid going through a hundred different steps to get into my bag is I usually just put this middle part through the hardware and then I take one of the sangles, run that through the hardware, which means that it is completely safe. It cannot open up. It's not going to come apart. It is set and this is how it's going to stay until you take it apart. And then I just let the flap hang on top, which means that if you're in a crowded area, you don't have to worry about anyone reaching into your bag because you have the flap protecting the, the top part of your bag. But if you want to get inside of your bag and you need to pull something out, you can flip this up. You can pull out just one single, not two, and then you can either reach inside your bag on the side or you can pull it out like this. So there is a fix for everything when it comes to Hermes. 
but I just love this bag. If you're looking for a great understated Hermes bag, whether this is going to be your first purchase or your hundredth bag purchase from Hermes, I think you will love this and you will find that it fills a gap in your collection. And did I mention the best part? It also has a pocket on the back. So if you don't want to go into your bags every single time, you want to have a separate section for pieces that you need easy access to, this is an amazing piece to add to your collection. And I almost forgot to mention that if you want to find out more about the her bag, I will have all of my reviews on this piece listed and linked below for you with pricing, sizing, styling, mud shots, the whole shebang. I didn't want to repeat myself in case you've seen those videos of mine, but if you want to find out more, don't worry. All of those will be listed in the info box for you to watch. But without further ado, let's move on to the last bag in today's video, which is a piece that I don't think I've ever talked about on here, even though I absolutely love this piece from Hermes and I've had this in my collection for many years at this point, which is the so-called city bag backpack. Now this was the very first backpack design that Hermes has ever launched for men. And I'm pretty sure it remains to be one of the most popular ones. And I think the reason why I have never reviewed this bag, even though, as you can see, it's been used and loved, is because this bag doesn't really have too much of a wow factor to it, which, trust me, I know it better than anyone else, because it took me quite a few years to even try this piece on. I remember seeing this around the time when it was first launched and it was really heavily promoted. I was shopping at, at the time at the men's store of the Madison Avenue boutique and they always had this bag on display. It was either on a mannequin or it was on a shelf and it was just kind of going back and forth for quite a while. I assume it wasn't as popular as RMS had anticipated because of how ridiculously expensive it was. I just don't think that it featured enough Hermes-like elements for this to become a mainstream piece. I'm sure that there were plenty of people who love Hermes that bought this and loved it from the get-go. But this is not one of those pieces that really became overhyped, which now in hindsight I appreciate. But it even took me a long time to be convinced to even give this a try. As I mentioned, I saw this for years being on shelves and then being on mannequins. So I really assumed that it wasn't as popular as it was expected. But I actually remember the exact time that I tried this piece on for the first time. I was waiting for my appointment for the person that I shopped with at the time who was in another appointment or another meeting. And I was just hanging out, they had this bag on display and I figured that I would help myself to it since I had nothing else going on. I just took it off the shelf and tried it on which is not something that you should usually do at RMS, but I did, guilty as charged. And as soon as I put this bag on, I had no idea what hit me because I have never put on a bag as comfortable as this. I really don't even know how to explain to you what carrying this bag feels like. It's basically like taking a nap on a cloud or you know what, it's like being a turtle and this is your shell. It just feels so comfortable and soothing having this bag on your back because I don't know why. I don't know if it's this really interesting, super thick stirrup detail that is the handle or the straps of the bag, or if it's the fact that it's super thin and streamlined, but there is something about the way this bag is constructed. So if you're looking at it, just as I did thinking that this is way overpriced for a backpack, please give it a try. Even if you would never consider buying this, if it's on display, if it's available, give it a try, try it on, and you'll understand what I'm talking about. I have never ever in my life tried on something as comfortable as this. It's like, I don't own any orthopedic shoes, but that's, that is exactly how I imagine orthopedic shoes feeling like, just really supporting and comforting and soothing. There's something about the way this backpack is constructed that I have never seen or tried before. It is super streamlined, it's really thin and lightweight. The only thing that's quite heavy about this bag are these two buckles that you have on the sides, which are quite weighty, but other than that, 
these backpacks are featherweight, which I think is mainly because they are super slim and they are also fully lined with fabric. So if I open this up for you, you will see how much this bag has been loved because it's quite dirty on the inside. Because it is fully lined with the Hermes Toile fabric, which actually feels the exact same as the Furby bag insert or one of the dust bags that Hermes pieces come with. And all you have on the inside is this super slim leather pocket, which I honestly barely ever use because it's so slim that I don't want it to stretch too much or if I put something more bulky in there for it to create an imprint on the back of the bag. But on the inside, as you can see, it's super soft and lightweight. And let me show you how used this bag is. If you look on the inside, it is quite dirty and there is really nothing that you can do with this because it is canvas. When I stop using this bag for a while, I usually just take my vacuum cleaner and then vacuum it out. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that, but honestly, that is what I do. It is really simple, so it has no outside pockets or any decorative pieces on the outside. It's all about this really streamlined architectural shape. And then you have a zipper on top that actually goes all the way down to the base of the bag. So if you really wanted to, you could in theory completely open it up like this. I never do that because I usually have stuff in here and if I end up doing that, everything will end up on the floor. So what I usually do is I usually just have the zip pulled up halfway and I just usually open up the top part of the bag like this. Then you have the pocket on the inside and if you want to make this bag a little bit more form fitting, then you can actually snap it on the sides like this. And as you can see, it becomes even more compact. Or if you need more space, you can leave it open like this and that will give you just a little bit of an added space in there. Now, one thing that is actually quite similar to the her bag is that this might not be the easiest thing to get in and out of. Obviously, you have the zipper on top, but while it's on your back, if you need to have quick access to your phone or if you're going into the subway and you need your subway card, what I would tell you and what I would recommend is that you never keep your subway card in here because it will be difficult to find. But what our mess has done for you in case you want easier access to something is that they actually put a zipper pocket on the side here, which is not a separate pocket. This is just a zipper that gives you quick access to the inside of the bag. So there isn't an additional pocket sewn in there. This is just the main compartment of the bag. So don't just throw something in here thinking that it's going to go into a separate pocket. It is the same thing as everything else, but you do have that. I want to say never use this function, but I mean, I guess it's good to have, but this is just such an amazing piece. If you want something that is really understated, that is really functional, and it is not a piece that you'll see a lot, check the city bag back back out. It comes in two different sizes in 27, which is this one. And then it also comes in size 30 in a huge array of not only colors, but also leathers. So of course I had to pick this up in my most favorite leather, which is Epsom, but it also comes in Togo, Evergreen, and some other incredible hard wearing leathers as well. One thing that I would like to warn you of, however, is the price, because this bag is quite ridiculously priced for how simple it is in terms of the design. I'm by no means saying it's not worth it because if you try it, you feel it, you'll understand why it's priced at what it is priced at, but it is going to be up there in price. So just be prepared. I don't know if it's the research, the way it's constructed. I mean, there's a lot of leather in this piece, but um, it is going to cost you a pretty penny. And this completes today's review on some incredibly multifaceted, functionality first, versatile bags from Hermes that work beautifully for men, for women, and everyone out there. So I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe down below. If you have any feedback for me on these bags, if you own them, if you've tried them, let me know in the comment section, as well as if there are any other bags that you think also belong on this list. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and I hope to see you in the next one.
拜。